Sokoto State's governor, Ahmed Aliu, has decried the alarming rates of banditry attacks on farmers in his state, coupled with the diversion of agro inputs on farmers leading to low food production. Governor Ahmed Aliu expressed his concern over food insecurity in the state during his visit to the Minister of Agriculture and Food Security as he describes the pathetic situation whereby farmers are subjected to seek permission from bandits before they could have access to their farms. Aliu also frowned at the manner at which agricultural inputs meant for farmers were being diverted into wrong hands, thereby expressed the need for proactive solutions through synergy with other states, traditional rulers and the federal government for effective security mobilization in the region, plus the use of digitalization of farmers' data to ensure imputes accountability. Our major concern in Sokoto as far as food production is concerned is the issue of armed banditry affecting some part of the state. There is no way with our security farmers can go to the farm. Before the farmers will go to farm now, they have to sit down, find equanimity, layers with security to escort them to the farm. It's unbecoming and it's affecting almost all the northern states in our country. Some farmers abandon their farms. What can you do? The advice fine now was a sectors of economy. You go to farm with your children. At the end of the day, one or two of them will be kidnapped. Whatever you found at the end of the year cannot be enough for you to feed, to get them back. Responding, the Minister for Agriculture and Food Security, Albuquerque Kerry, assured that the ministry would take stringent measures in the distribution of agricultural inputs for the upcoming dry and wet season farming. Kerry made his commitment to support the new farmers and ensure effective agro-inputs distribution Kerry also stated that the Federal Ministry of Agriculture and Food Security is dedicated to implementing stringent measures in the forthcoming dry, wet season farming for rice, maize and cassava to ensure transparent distribution of agro inputs and targeting genuine farmers. Collaboration with states, local governments, traditional rulers, NGOs and relevant MDAs will be crucial in achieving this goal. For the dry season production of rice, maize and cassava that I sent to all 36 states and FCT, which I'm sure His Excellency has received, captures a design structure that speaks to farmers' data integrity, inventory of available irrigable lands, as well as functional irrigation infrastructure with the primary aim of determining the readiness of participating states. We are already getting responses from some states. The Federal Ministry of Agriculture and Food Security is dedicated to implementing stringent measures in the forthcoming dry, wet season farming for rice, maize, and cassava to ensure transparent distribution of agro inputs and targeting genuine farmers. He, however, underscored the importance of strategic partnership across the board and emphasized the ministry's commitment to massive crop production through technology and mechanization as the focus is on aligning programs with a vision for the agricultural sector, driving agricultural transformation, 
enhancing productivity and supporting farmers to thrive while ensuring food security and curbing inflation. Anieti Patrick, Core TV News, Abuja.